Smart has done some things for this team that have really shifted series. I mean, we saw it against Toronto in Game 7. If he doesn't make that play, they lose the series. Uh, so you're giving that up in terms of being a little better in the short term, having better fits in the short term, and having more flexibility in the future. Yeah. I mean, Smart's been great. I don't think there's any of this is a knock on him. I just think this is where the team is. They've gone a little bit desperate, and they need to do something that's aggressive well, and, quote, desperate. This is well, a, I don't no. think see that I don't think they need to do anything desperate. I don't and I don't think I don't think trading Gordon yeah, for Smart back. is a desperate move. Um I I think it's probably at least this season if you have to give up Smart and to to get Gordon, it's not going to be seen as this major upgrade. It's going to be borderline lateral move, but it might be something that Danny Ainge thinks makes them better going into next season. And it might be a player that he sees. And it shakes up the on. room now. It's, you know, exactly. It, it could certainly help. I mean, I would, it's not going to put them into the Nets at, at Shalon of teams. But what I'm saying is it might be something that Danny says, well, get a head start on next season at the very least. Get some, get something going with these guys. Get them, see how they look together. And then he can make further adjustments and, and moves in the offseason. But Gordon might be a player that he's very interested in for all the reasons why we know he loves athletic wings who have a lot of potential and i think gordon still does have that the fact that he's 25 is something that i think a lot of people forget i mean he is uh, you know, a young player again he's been on these crappy orlando teams with crappy guards around him and i think that there is a little bit of maybe untapped potential that i would hope um the subs could tap into a little bit um you know putting the right guys out there with him so and and I, again i i just think it, it might at the very least maybe Gordon is a more tradable guy uh, than Smart will be. Maybe people don't look at. Let him me, ask, ask, that. Let me yeah, ask you exactly. this. Maybe maybe there's more teams interested in acquiring Gordon, not just good teams or really good teams looking for you know that that final depth piece to put them over the top. Let me ask you this: Could they do better for Smart later? Yeah. That's well, what I'm, we keep talking about. This is again. If, we, I don't we think you can. Around answer, the world on this, Bobby. Right now, you've got. 10 teams all looking to get better with about two to three impact players available, period. Okay. And so obviously now you're in a bidding war, which means you're going to probably overpay uh, for this. And you're right. Could you get more for all of it? A again, Jimmy's been making this point all season. If Rob Williams plays himself into a place where he's like a legit stud by the end of the year or a piece, how much does his value increase over what it is after 40 games right now? If you get anything out of Romeo, if Neesmith starts to play and you see something or if you, or whatever, all of it's not going to happen. Just saying, <laughs> just saying, theoretically, you know, the value Romeo's of your pieces. Alive. You know the value of your pieces now. They all, many things could have great, great more value, uh, more value later when you're not competing with as many people all at once for for, for such a small. Pool. That's true, but is Smart gonna right. have more value later? Players, you can't match no. contract. I mean, like that's what that's where Smart comes in and comes into play in, in that scenario. You know, and that's yeah, true too. you know, to, to your point, you're John. You're not sign and trade Smart. They're not to gonna be point, able to do John, sign yeah. and trades this off season. I just the the Tatum contract just blows them to uh, pass that uh, hard tax that would go into place. To yeah. John's point, though, like those Romeos and, and, and Neesmiths, shit, if you, if you can couple someone like that with Marcus Smart, then all of a sudden that's a, that package deal gets a lot better, right? You throw in a first-round pick, it gets a lot better. Again, maybe Aaron Gordon right now is the best the Celtics can do, but next season, you know, or during the offseason, maybe those values go up. One of those guys – Well, yeah, let's he, consider he, this, he, too. Aaron, compare that with the with the with the draft picks future first let's consider this too if you trade smart for gordon straight up that matches as joe sway just said there's no tp involved whatsoever in that now you go into the tax do they want to do that i don't know but it would leave the full tp in place for the off season so that's another value of trading smart as he just mentioned you you wouldn't even have to touch a cent of that tp you'd have the full 28 million for the off season and are there any are there any limitations to gordon trading better be your gordon? Guy, once you acquire him, can you? Um, no, over the off season, they'd be good to trade him. Right. So, so it's again, I, when you want, you were talking about value. I, I think I know, I know John agrees with me. I don't know about you guys, but Marcus Smart's value, I don't think will ever be much. I think we know who Marcus Smart is. I, I don't know if his value is going to increase a ton um, over the next, over the rest of his contract. I think he, and he's worth, I'm not saying he's not worth his contract. I just don't think that he's going to turn into any different of a player 
than what he kind of is. He hasn't he hasn't proven his playmaking, and I think that's probably where he's going to, you know, I think he's, I mean, I guess I'll use the word peaked, but I think he's probably the player that we all know him to be. I, I can't imagine his worth going up or down a lot either way over the course of his remainder of his Celtics career. So is he worth, if he's worth Aaron Gordon, then that's probably the type of player that you're going to get in return for Marcus Smart. Now, if you want to include picks and all this other stuff and add, add these other, um, you know, assets in a deal for a bigger player than that, that's the risk you take by holding on to him. Well, but you can it, theoretically include Gordon in that same tree. Does it happen? I, I, I think, I think no. And not because the Celtics don't try. I think the Celtics are going to get flat out bid because other teams have more attractive things to offer. I agree. I don't think it's going to happen. I, Although, think, De- I think Denver's package that's being the one that they're considering, Boston can't match it. I don't care what they send. Barin, well, let me guess. Barin, Harris, uh, Young, like RJ, and then and, and a first round pick. I, Boston can't come within miles of that. Arjay, so yeah. the Magic are pretty close to the tax and the De- nuggets trade would blow them into it, which I don't think they would love because of Barton or Harris, whoever they decide to include in there. The advantage that the Celtics could That's end up pulling out of this. In the TPE right now. Yeah. So if you do like knee Smith and picks and just take Gordon on the TP, that might be more valuable than magic killing like 16 million in salary than yeah. bowl bowl and the nuggets pick like the nuggets right. picks can be worse than the Celtics, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So I think they have the advantage in that sense. Yeah. 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 So like the, the TP going to be in the lottery. The TP is a real advantage, and I said this about the Kings too, which we can probably still consider the Kings in play here. I know they're saying no, but I feel like that's still on the table to some degree. The Kings, the Magic, those teams can dump full salary, whether it's Barnes is twenty two or Gordon's eighteen. And just take back like two million, which is a ginormous win for cap purposes, especially for the Kings if they want to go out and sign someone eventually. Yeah. What's kind of a bummer uh, is that the reports today that the Celtics, like while their front runners are on Gordon, that their number one prize is Barnes. So Gordon's a consolation prize, I guess, uh, in this in this thing, which is no, because Barnes I don't know is better. If I believe that. I, no? I said to you guys, I think that's BS. I don't even know okay. what that means. I don't even know what that means. No offense to whoever reported it, but the Celtics. I've seen it a trying, couple places, trying, actually, but anyway, it was me. I trying to smoke. They're trying to smoke out the Kings. Like the Kings are. I don't are, believe the what? smoke. The Kings out. are a bunch of idiots that they, they, they think it's all. Fake. I don't buy that. I just that's think they. I, I, I think believe. they wanted Barnes. They just can't have him. They might want Barnes, but honestly. Pure, pure potential or pure, pure athleticism talent. Doesn't Gordon seem like more of a Danny Ainge guy than Barnes? Younger? Yeah. Yes. I still don't know what Gordon. Oh, yeah, but Barnes is guy. better. Yeah, that's the point. We know Barnes, Barnes is Barnes better. Barnes is better, but but Danny's never been the guy to always pick the better. I mean, look at his. I mean, and it's come back to bite him. Don't get me wrong, but he's always been the guy who's like in love with potential and athleticism, and you know that. Basically, uh, more than more than you know, a, a, a steady guy. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Um, well, it depends what you're giving up. So, like, yeah, it if does, we're ta- it does depend what you're giving. If up, we're talking, sure. like, if we're talking smart for Gordon, I think in that case, Danny might say this could end up being lateral if we miss Smart as a ball handler and Gordon comes in. It isn't that great. If you're giving up like knee Smith for Barnes, I think you do that a million times over a million over Gordon for Smart. Because that just instantly helps your team. You don't even have to wait for Barnes to sure. develop did, or become. Did or yeah, I think everyone would agree with that. And he's did here for Smith, three years. Did Neesmith not play tonight because he's possibly involved in a trade? No, they he's love possibly Grant. forgotten. Because <laughs> uh, uh, this is again. Was Neesmith going to guard Giannis? Come on. No, geez, but my goodness, uh, a game oh, after you 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 got him back in there with some minutes, and he actually hit a couple of shots to go to zero again, is baffling to me. Zero. You need, you need every guy in a string against this team. I told you that, John. When we were going through the schedule like a week ago, I was like, he's not going to play against the Bucks, but you know, after yeah. that two game stretch, he'll come back and we'll see. We'll see what he's got. We'll see um, how his progression is thus far, right? Might have been a few is, more threes if he was out there the re- on the other the end. Reason, the reason why I don't <laughs> think it could happen is not so much that, like, if, if the Celtics really, really, really won Gordon, I mean, I think they could make it happen, but. Danny Ainge isn't going to overpay for for Aaron Gordon because he doesn't That's feel a the way he doesn't feel the way Bobby feels. I'm I'm fully convinced in that. So 
I don't. That's why I don't think it's going to happen because so he's not, like, he's going to make a trade. He's not panicking. He's not going to make a desperation trade. He doesn't feel like he needs to make a trade to save the season. So that's why. I mean, if 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 the if the Magic were looking to play a ball and and meet them you know, kind of where they wanted to be, then I think they would make the trade. But if the Magic are looking to you know play hardball and and you know try to get every last drop out of out of a trade for Gordon, then. You're right. I don't. I don't think the Celtics end up being the the team that does it. Well, why is Woj out here and all these people saying the Celtics really want him? Like they they want him so badly. Oh, Gordon. Yeah, like if you're not gonna give up what it takes to get a player in a trade, especially at this point where you really need to shake up this roster and add stuff for now and in the future, like what are they doing? Like they can't. They can't. They aren't in an advantageous position anymore. They have to give up value and go get a guy. That's where they're at. And you can keep saying I they know, don't have the pieces to make it work, be, but at the very least, it has to make you better. <laughs> you know, the, the thing we don't think about is what's the cost of doing it nothing. It has to make you better today, right? If it does, if it's still, if you're not even sure it makes you better today, and you give up future assets that you could theoretically use in other trades, what are we doing? You know, like if people are torn on whether shipping out smart for gordon is bad plus you're also going to give up a young player in a first round pick why even discuss it at that point if it's a lateral move and you lose more assets you're gaining nothing because of what jimmy mentioned you need an asset for the long term i agree that that. you can invest and grow in like this is the thing they they have a clock here they can't just sit back and say oh we'll wait a couple years and see what's out there the tp expires Smart's gone, Tice gone, all the stuff that they could use right now to and put together. Even your pick, which I right just, now is in a better position than I, it was before. You know what bugs me the most? And you're 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 not wrong, but the Gordon thing popped off early in the week, and it was like, okay, they're close here. What's been depressing since then is there's been no momentum towards this appearing to be a deal that they're going to get done. And then no other names have popped off. In fact, names are falling off the list like Barnes and Collins. Yep. And nobody will even say Lonzo's name. Just give, somebody give me a Lonzo. Rumor. They're going to keep him. They're going to keep him Because <laughs> he's staying just put. Somebody, right? Exactly. He's not going anywhere. Just, just give me a Lonzo rumor. I'll give yeah. you, I'll tweet one out. I'll tweet one out. It'll be fake. Give if me something to get show, excited about tomorrow. I, I don't want to spend any guys. We're going to for we're, we're going live tomorrow at two o'clock, right up to the trade deadline at three two? for anybody watching. So um, please join us there. We're going to take you right into the trade deadline and after in case, you know, anything happens. And if nothing happens, we'll still talk and we'll all we'll freak out. We'll, we'll grieve <laughs> together and start fighting. We'll fight. Uh, oh, Bobby's gonna be, you do not want to be around Bobby tomorrow. Trust me. If they do happens. nothing, oh lord, it's oh, they're gonna, gonna have to put an emoji over my face. Angry right, no, he's gonna get mad when, need, uh, when the when the tray machine crashes. That's what he's gonna get mad. I need to wake up tomorrow to something new, some new buzz. Because this, oh, I, there's gonna be buzz. There's if be all buzz. I want, if all that's happening is a Gordon trade, I'm not even sure I want to see. Like, I, it's like I still don't even know how to feel if it goes down, but. You know, I'm at the point where change for the sake of change might even be good. So that's why I would do the smart for Gordon swap there. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I'm still I'm still not certain. Hey, I wouldn't be happy with a couple of picks and whatever for Barnes at this point. I, I really don't think that's off the table. I, I'm How happy. Do magic got... fans Go ahead, Jimmy. Gordon. How do Magic fans feel about Gordon? I imagine like they probably like Gordon, right? I mean, he's been a guy that's given them some entertainment over the years, at the very least. No, they're probably I, in fear, frustrated. Are there them. Magic fans? Do Magic fans <laughs> yeah, exist, or are they like Heat fans? Yeah, the Duck Hunters a long time ago. Yeah. So they asked him yesterday. Someone actually asked him about the trade rumors, and he answered it. He said he's just been so frustrated with the situation there. Like, they, they put such a load on him because of all the injuries. They haven't gotten anyone. They haven't gone anywhere. They've made a couple playoffs, but it's just not a good situation. And that's so the that's the is, hope here. You really that hope that hope. he becomes the fourth, fifth option on a team and just flourishes as a cutting yes. dunker, uh, as a off-ball shooter. Defensively is what you're really banking in on. I wouldn't even like over fixate on the offense because defensively is where you hope he's going to improve you. Play him that's at some five. You know, right. Let him defend fours. Here's the thing about – I know, but again, the, the thing we, about – We haven't, yeah, we haven't mentioned this. And it does matter. Smart's like what six three, two hundred something. This guy is six eight, like two forty five. Real power, like mu- jacked out of his mind. I've mentioned like, it he's got great times. Yeah. Well, there you go. But here's Jimmy my did the good work. 
Here's my only Thank concern you. with Gordon. I know he's only 25, which is great because that sounds like a young player. He's been in the league for seven years, and he's still the same guy. He's Has his game taken a major leap forward in any of the last four years, five years? He's the same guy. Wow. Who's been his best point well, guard? I don't know. I think That's anybody's he's got no good guards, right? And I think I – think, and again, maybe there's something they can unlock it, but at the end of the day, I mean – Everyone, if we if if the Celtics trade for Gordon, you have to accept the fact that that's who you're getting. Like there, I don't know that there's a next level. You're getting a guy who's an okay yeah. shooter, but for for his career, about thirty three percent from three. Granted, he's got it. He's flashing this year, but I also think that's fool's gold. He averages about thirteen points a game. He's he's fine, but he doesn't have an elite skill set at anything. He What's is Marcus Smart's elite. He doesn't have it either. That's the thing is you're <laughs> How about the 20th pick in next year's draft? What's his skill set? Right. So you're trading <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're trading either for fit or for projection, but not for any sort of guarantee. Or, or asset management yeah. in the future. I yeah. mean, teams around the league obviously like this guy and want him, and there's been buzz around him forever. And if he really starts to flourish in Boston, that's your next step on the ladder toward making the move. And I've said this over and over again. You don't want to go into the offseason with $28 million of that TPE intact for various reasons. You want to have part of it to use and part of it in the bank on a real player for salary matching purposes. Like, there's lots and lots of limitations on this team in the offseason. They're going to make it extremely hard to get the full value of that $28 million. So, like, everyone keeps thinking they can wait. The team keeps saying, oh, we're going to wait. And I just look at their books and their situation and I, say, like I said, I'm doing it if it's there. I'm doing it if it's there, and then you, you hope for the best. 